Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to try and do a one sheet wonder where um, I am going to stamp my own background. We're then going to cut the card down and make four cards using Bami Blue, um, Flirtly Flamingo, Lovely Lipstick and Daffodil Delight. So, the reason I've chosen these colours is because I have the light and dark Stampin' Blend combinations of those colours. I do have more, but I wanted nice bright colours today. So, we're going to incorporate this as well. Now, if you don't have Stampin' Blends or Stampin' Right Markers, you can use um, any alternative colours that you think will coordinate your cardstock. But as you know, Stampin' Up products, they all coordinate well, so... For the best results, you want to use the same colours. But it doesn't matter. Um, use what you have, though. So I have decided to get out the Bloom and Grow. Bloom and grow not the Bloom and Grow. I'm not cussing, I promise. Um, and I'm simply going to repeat a stamp across my um, cardstock. So, what I want to do is use this one which is here now it looks small on here but obviously it's quite a big stamp you'll see we get quite a few in here and even the fonts are, are quite big so i am going to layer up each of the cards with a piece of white in the mid middle and um, with a sentiment so because um i know that i'm not going to get as equal coverage i'm going to use this full edge one which is the leaves and the little berries here. Um, there are other options as well, but we'll see what happens as we go. Now, I am going to stamp in Memento Black Ink. Um, and then we're just going to colour partial images on the card fronts. So, what I am looking for is my block. Now, that block H is not big enough. So let me grab my caddy. This is great if you have more than a few of the Stampin' Up! blocks because um, these all go into this caddy case nice and snug, nice and safe. Um, and everything's at your fingertips. So the block I want is this bigger one, which is I. And you will see if I push that on there, it fits perfect. Now I have got block, is this B, out for the smaller images. Oops, the wrong way round. So let me pick that up, like so. And I am going to use block um, D for some of the sentiments. So I'll just leave that to the side for the minute. Um, this caddy is absolutely awesome. And you do save by, bulk, by buying all the blocks at one time. The caddy is an add-on, however. Um, but it's solid, solid plastic and we have this foam bit in the middle just to protect each end. So, I'll pop that out of the way. And I love how everything coordinates because, you know, like the trimmer, it's grey, so is the caddy, so is the, the punches, so um, I'm just a little bit sad like that. Right, so let's get stamping. Now... I'm aware some of my videos have been going slightly out of shot down this way when doing my cards, so I have purposefully um, stuck down my grid paper um, and I'll be able to rip that off. I'm going to stamp all over it anyway when I'm overlapping on this paper. So I, I am listening to you guys and I do apologise if I have went squint off the page. Right, so these cards are all going to be tent fold like so. So, and I am going to cut across the way, so we need to make sure that the images are the right way up. Now, it doesn't matter if it's that way or that way, but I do like it better with a full edge near the top. So, I have my stamping scrub next to me, which has a, a wet panel and a dry panel. So, I think I have everything to hand. I've got my four card bases. I also have my trimmer. Um, yep, so let's get stamping. Now, I like to stamp directly on top 
of the um, the stamps because I can see clearly if um, if I have given it full coverage. Isn't that adorable? So what I'll do is I'm just going to keep repeating that throughout the card. I will stagger it in stages though, just so that um, it's not too obvious that we've um, made our own background. So as I'm doing that, I'll just yap away. So I've spent the last few evenings catching up on admin and stuff like that. Catching up with them. Um, Team page, things things like that, you know. Um, I've updated my website as well, making sure everything's up to date for you guys. Um, if you get a chance, go over and have a little nosy. To help you if you're having maybe a crafty blank in your mind, which I do often. Um, but when I do go through periods where I'm like, I, where I can't think what to make, I sometimes just look at the the catalogue for inspiration, because all those cards that you see in there are actually um, designed by the Stampin' Up Design team, and they're there to inspire people to give you ideas. And they don't mind at all if you are um, casing the catalogue. So, just um, bear in mind that if you're doing making cards with stamping up products, especially the stamped images, you do need to um, copyright your cards if you're selling them. If you're selling, if you're gifting um, to charity, I don't think you need to do it, but do check. There is an angel policy online, I just can't remember off the top of my head when it comes to the gifting side. Right, so there is our one sheet wonder and we're going to cut it up now. And look, I have a nice clean mat. See? And I will use that for another day's stamping. Don't like waste. Now, the cards all measure four and one eighth of an inch okay well they actually measure uh, five, eight, eight and two eighths of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch and then they're scored at four and one eighth and that brings your card size down to four and one eighth by five and seven eighths so we need to cut these down to now remember we want them up long because that's where cards are. We want to cut these down to four. Okay, so there's one. And four again. And then we're going to split that. So this is only wastage, but you could use that for something else if you've got time to think. I can't just now, but I will put it to the side. Right, so let's cut these down to, what are they, five and seven eighths? No, they're five and three quarters, I do apologise. So they need, these need cut down to five and five eighths. Okay, so there's one. And five and five eighths is the wee marker just after um, five and a half. Because five and a half inches equates to four and four eighths of an inch. It can get complicated, but you get used to it. Um, so last bit we're cutting here. Okay. So next step is what I'm going to do is I am going to adhere these directly onto the card before I colour them. Okay. Now there's a few options you could do, which I will explain shortly. So there's one, two. Three. Oh, 
that card slightly bigger. Hang on. That was one I had pre-cut. Three. And this one needs to be... Da, 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 da. Five and three quarters. There we go. That card was slightly bigger. I do apologise. That was one I used from an earlier project. And it also needs to be thinner. But you get the gist. Right, this must measure... This is four, so it's an eighth of an inch smaller than the other cards. I must have been doing um, four by six size for this pre-cut one that I'd done earlier. So, all you need to do is um, trim it down, not an eighth of an inch shorter on the, the length and the height. Oh, what's happened here? A little bit that's turned over. Right, so, what I'll do while I'm chatting, I shall just make sure my glue's working. And I'm going to adhere the fronts to the cards. Try not to get glue all over myself. So, marry up one, two, three sides. I always like to do the side bottom and the side. So I think that looks nice. That helps me line it up better. And you don't need a lot of glue. If you put too much glue on, it'll seep over and you're just wasting it. You only need a little bit. It's sticky enough, believe me. Okay, so there's our second card. This one. Now, you could do a One Sheet Wonder by um, multicolour stamping. So, just stamping each of the images in a different colour. That looks quite effective as well. I wonder if I've got... Here's a sample of what i done for... It starts with art. That's what I mean by multicolour stamping. And that would go on a card. That's great effect as well. But for today, I just want to show you me incorporating the blend. I was thinking to myself last night, I haven't had them out in a while... So, this is me getting my button gear. Okay, right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour the Daffodil Delight one on camera and then I'm going to cut um, and colour these off screen and then come back and show you the finished products. Perfect. That's that looks good to me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a sentiment and we're going to make this really easy because I want to keep it simple for you. Okay, and then I will come on and show you the other finished products. I'm going to use a two-inch circle punch and I'm going to use a piece of whisper white. Um let me get a spare scrap piece. You know, I like to get through the scraps first. Oh, and I, hang on, I already have a circle die cut out, but I think, no, it's too little. Right, let me do this one. Is that going too fat? Nope, 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 nope. Too thin. Don't worry, I'll use that for something else. Right. Sorry about this. I, I do have scraps that I just can't, um... Find the right folder. No, that's very vanilla, Trisha. What am I like? Right, I need to start a new sheet. I've used all my scraps. I have used all my scraps. So, two inch piece. Boop. Easy peasy. What you could do is you could lay it up with another piece of pineapple punch, but I'm going to just um, do something different. So get my scrap piece of paper and I am going to stamp 
this sentiment, which says, here it's here, it's quite a nice size. It says, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, so I'm going to pop it there. I'm going to pop it on a block. I'm just going to make sure that's clean, actually. Yeah, that's clean. And I'm going to grab my Daffodil Delight. Not Daffodil Delight. Yeah, it is Daffodil Delight I'm using. Did I see Pineapple Punch? Anyway, it's Daffodil Delight. That's the yellow I'm using. Not silly sausage. You maybe haven't noticed, depending on the lighting of the film. <laughs> maybe got away with that. But I've just shot myself on the foot now, haven't I? <laughs> right, so I'm just going to press and hold to stamp directly on top of that. That is adorable. I mean, the fonts are just gorgeous. Can you see that? Okay. Love it. And what I want to do is, you can either roll or blend some ink into the edge of your um, sentiment, which I am going to do. Or you can use your blend, but I would recommend using the pad because if you have the ink refillers, um, that'll work out cheaper for you if you're going to do this a lot. So you can see that that gives it a little, a little border. And then we can pick wherever we think we should put it. And I'm going to put it down here. Okay, so I need some dimensions. Now, I've misplaced my normal dimension, so I'm using little baby ones, the little mini ones. Um, and I think I would like to add a piece of ribbon. Now, I have polka tool, or I have the flax ribbon. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a piece of flax ribbon, but I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to be tight because I don't think you should use too much of something if you could um, save yourself some money. So I'm simply going to cut two pieces and attach them to my little sentiment. Okay. Now I'm going to do that with a couple of glue dots for quickness, but normally I would use... Um, what do you call it? Tearing, tear and tape. I can't speak properly today. Right, so I'm just popping a little glue dot on that side, like so. And I'll do the same with the other side. I'm going to attach it to the paper first, actually. It's a little bit easier. <clears throat> and then I can stick it on and try and get a good straight line. Now look how much ribbon we've saved. So let's um let's attach it to the card. I think these are absolutely adorable. Right now I want a few of these on here because they're little baby ones. And I'm all fingers and thumbs, as usual. You know what? I, my, my nails are an absolute mess at the minute, look, because I have been biting them again, which I know is a disgusting habit, but I bite my nails and I'm nervous or anxious about something and maybe not aware of it at the time. And I do, I do want to get myself some nice fake acrylic nails, but it's been so long since I had fake nails on. I don't know if it would interfere with my crafting and we can't have that, can we? So there is our lovely little card. Isn't that adorable? So I'll um, go off camera, I'll finish the rest of my cards and I'll give you a quick wee look before I finish the same um, tutorial. Back in a second. Hi guys, so that's me back. I've spent about 20 minutes, minutes, 20 minutes finishing off my cards. So, you saw the Daffodil Delight one. No, the Pineapple Punch, sorry. 
Here is the Flirty Flamingo one, but it is on a Blush and Bride base. So what I've done was I just three generations stamped and I just coloured the little balls on this one. Then, and I added the circle sentiment. This one is the Bami Blue and I decided just to do a normal banner across it. I done light and dark in the Bami Blue blends and I stamped it in black. Okay, we're now on to the last card. Um, and I've just coloured this in dark and light lovely lipstick, stamped some lovely lipstick in there and I'm going to put the sentiment over here so I'm not colouring this area. So all I've done is a two inch banner stamped Let's Celebrate You and part stamped one of the other images from the stamp set over the edge. Uh, that's that one. Um, and that is pretty much it. So... Um, I'm just going to raise that up. I think it may be a bit too busy for the card, but um, we shall see. It will not go to waste anyway. So I'm just going to take the um, strip off of my mini dimensionals. The strip that goes around the back. And I'm just going to um, break that up. Because I'm going to utilise that on the back of this sentiment. I do have the foam strips somewhere. Still haven't looked them out from the last tutorial, silly sausage. But I'm needing to use up this little packet anyway. Now, I do apologise if this has been a slightly longer video. Um, but the colouring can take a little while. And that is just using one ink. Um, one shade of colours. Right, so... Um, before I put that down, I'm going to actually grab a doily. Whoops! My goodness, I need to stop sticking the head in that. I'm going to grab a doily. These are still available in the catalogue and I'm going to put this on the card. Um, where did I put my sentiment? Did anybody see it on the desk? I've just lost the sentiment. You know what, I think I actually am going off my head at times. What the hang have I done with it? Right. Oh there, look, it's stuck. Forgot. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> what a silly sausage I am. Right, now, to break this up a little bit, I think I'm going to pop doily um, somewhere just to give it Something else to focus on other than all this lovely lipstick colour. I think if I pop that, if I pop that down there, okay, and I'm just going to overlap slightly because this is see through, it will, um, it will still stick to card. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to pop that down there. doesn't matter that I'm covering up the images. If you wanted, you could add in a piece of um, ribbon in there too. Okay. But that is my card, and I think that's pretty enough. So, let me quickly tidy up, and I'll just quickly recap on the cards that I've made for you today. These will all be going to charity, like I said. Because I don't know that many people that I can send all these lovely cards to. <laughs> and I don't want to keep them all because it's just silly. So, I did send some out racks um, the other day to my team and stuff. So, that was good. So, there is our um, Bloom and Grow um, One Sheet Wonder based cards. So, that's the stamp set. And these are all the beautiful cards. Right guys, I just want to say thank you so much for joining in. Um, I hope I haven't um, babbled on too much, but I just wanted to show you how elegant a set this is. And thanks again for tuning in, I really do appreciate you. And if you've stuck around for the live chat during this premiere, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna make sure my premieres are at six at night um, when I do do them and also 
um, 7 in the morning UK time. And the 7 in the morning, I think that allows for people like America, Canada to maybe view them late at night. And I'll be doing the wee chats in the morning. So, trying to reach um, as many of the, the audience as possible. So, thank you so much again and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.